For over a century, American school children from all walks of life walked rural roads to make their way to the one room schoolhouse. A slice of Americana, these simply designed wood or brick buildings kept America's education system rolling along. For many years, the one room schoolhouse featured a teacher, sometimes as young as 16, who passed a county examination and then was licensed to teach the youth of America, though still a youth themselves. The daily lessons were the three R's, reading, writing, arithmetic, with answers formed in chalk or in recitations with the teacher. These quaint buildings lacked running water and indoor plumbing, and the potbelly stove needed tending. When one spends six to seven to eight years sitting in the same room and learning together, lifelong bonds are formed. The school names often came from the farmer who leased the land for the building, and they were multi-purpose structures as congregations, traveling ministers, politicians, social clubs, and the farmer's grange all used them. The school district was under local control with a three-member board of education in charge of hiring the teacher, along with mowing the lawn and fixing a leaky roof. This was limited American government on display. If so popular, why did they leave the nation's educational landscape? There were several reasons. First, as the industrial age ushered in a new type of labor, employees wanted a more educated and skilled workforce. A one-person rural curriculum department had a difficult time matching the college-educated instructors of the city schools. Second, following World War II, suburbs emerged and gobbled up the wide swaths of fields and forests and the farms and created new communities. But the final blow may have been the Cold War. When the Soviet Union managed to launch the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik, in the fall of 1957, that grabbed everyone's attention. If the Soviets could launch something that far out into space, then they had the technology to fire a nuclear missile at the United States. Americans were alarmed as we fell behind in the space race. Schools were blamed for failing to teach the skills needed to keep pace, namely higher level math and science, and something had to be done. That something was to get the children into the more modern city schools. States offered sweetheart deals for districts to absorb the students and any debts from a one-room schoolhouse. As a result, fewer and fewer of America's children were walking isolated country roads to a one-room schoolhouse. But the same failing American school system put a man on the moon about a decade later, so this Cold War educational premise has its flaws. Nevertheless, no one could really argue that the one-room schools lacked fancy science labs, plush auditoriums, swimming pools, gyms, and libraries, along with many other modern amenities. Most people decided to keep up with the Joneses and left the country schoolhouse. So, the one-room schoolhouse, the foundation of America's march towards becoming a world power, died on the rural roads over a half century ago. So there you have it. I am Mitch Lutsky. See you around.